Before we start this consumer compute, just wanted to let you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and also get a Patreon account, sign up for free. I want to talk to you guys about a cell phone plan, which is called TextNow. So this plan, TextNow is labeling it as an essential data plan. So what TextNow is giving you is unlimited talk and text plus data to use for essentials. For example, if you're using Google Maps or Apple Maps, it will use that data as well as the GPS that's in your cell phone. It's also using ride shares uh, like I think Lyft and you're also able to use email, for example, Gmail. This plan is 100% free. Now the difference between TextNow is, is that you can pay $5 and they'll send you a data SIM to your house and you pop this into your cell phone and you're able to still use this phone as you're out and about. This is a little different than a regular cell phone plan because you're gonna need to use the TextNow app when you're making a phone call. It's very easy. It also allows you to change your phone dialer in your phone to this specific TextNow app so you're not gonna really notice too much of a difference when making a phone call or texting, but you just need to understand that you're gonna be doing all your texting and phone calling through the app. I'm also just letting you know that I am not affiliated with TextNow, nor am I getting paid to do anything to talk about TextNow. I just really think that this may be you know, a good um, provider for you if you guys are in a tight spot and you can't pay for a traditional cell phone plan. Also, you can though, if you want to pay for uh, a data plan, TextNow offers is these flex data plans. You can pay for an unlimited hour pass. It's for 60 minutes, you pay for a dollar. Also, it's gonna give you an unlimited day pass. So if you need to use this for more than five hours uh, for the day, you're gonna pay $4.99 for 24 hours of having an unlimited pass. Also, they're giving you an, a, a data offer for the whole month, which it's $39.99, 40 bucks for the month for unlimited. Now, TextNow makes their money through ads, so you will see ads in the app. There are options where you can get rid of the ads I think you're paying like a dollar ninety nine a week. It it's a decent cell phone plan if you're in a tight spot. Maybe this might be a good starter plan for your kids. It's showing them responsibility and it's making sure that uh, they have a budget towards their phone. So again, just letting you know, I'll leave it in the link. The cell phone plan as well as the company. It's called Text Now. You can download it on Android and you can download it on iOS. I purchased the Motorola Edge 2024 almost about a week ago and I do have an unboxing of this phone. But I really wanted to put this video out first just to talk about some things that I've noticed with the Motorola Edge 2024 uh, that a lot of reviewers haven't been talking about and that's more about Motorola's action button now if you go into the settings of this phone uh, quick action button which I'm gonna show you guys it's kind of like you know what the iPhone 15 has now Okay, so it's called the quick button. If you click on this quick button, you can actually assign pretty much any uh, app that you want to assign towards it. So for example, if we turn this on, uh, you know, you can assign it to any button, which I think, you know, one good one that you would assign to is the camera, right? Because it's a camera button. So for me though, what I've assigned this button for 
is uh, right here, which is the walkie talkie button. Now this button is designed for Microsoft Teams. But what's kind of cool is if you download an app like, I guess it's called Zello, it's a push to talk app. You can get push, push to talk services for free. You sign up, you get an account. Uh, it kind of like the old school days of Nextel, if you guys are alive and you knew what Nextel was. It doesn't matter if it's Android or iOS. So if you press the button, hello, what's going on? Hello, what's going on? You're gonna be able to actually get uh, push to talk services. Here, I'm just gonna use the Motorola Razor 20, the Razor Plus 2023. So you're gonna be able to get pretty much walkie talkie services. Right, uh, for this phone with this quick action button. That action button on that side for this phone, I personally feel Motorola should be throwing that into every single high-end phone that they have. What do you guys think below? What do you think about the Moto line of phones this year, 2024? I think the Edge is definitely a decent phone. I'm gonna let you guys go. I just really wanna know your thoughts and opinions about the Moto Edge. 2024. Also, if you haven't already, look at the unboxing video. I'll post in the links of this video uh, to see the Edge 2024 being unboxed. Thank you for staying. If you have, don't forget to click the thumbs up. Share this video out. Help me. I am on a, a mission to get a thousand subscribers. I also have a Patreon account. Sign up for a dollar. I'm going to put these videos out a day before. Uh, hopefully I'll put your names in the credits when I get that set up. This is Consumer Compute and I'll see you in my next video.